Hi there! It's Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this adorable mini gift bag using the gift bag punch board. I originally saw this idea from fellow demonstrator Sam Bracegirdle in the UK and I just thought it was the sweetest idea. So we're going to use the Color Theory Designer Series paper and that is in the Berry Burst color and this piece measures six inches by four inches and I'm going to go ahead and pull out the gift bag punch board and we're going to use this against the rules so don't pay any attention to the directions that are on here we're going to use um, the score lines to help us build this mini gift bag so the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and decide which side you want the top of the bag and I think I want this lighter pink color to be the top of the bag so we're going to flip the paper around this will be the bottom of the bag. So we're going to go ahead and line it up first on this start line and we're going to go ahead and punch and then we're going to shift this edge to this side line here that's part of the triangle and that's going to end up being our starting point and we're going to score on the small score line. We're also while we're here going to go ahead and do that horizontal line be very careful not to go off the edge here. Then we're going to slide and you want to remember we're always going to go with the last score line that we did. So we're going to go ahead and first line that up here with this pointer to punch because that's going to help us build the, those flaps along the bottom. I'm then going to slide this back to the sideline. And you're wanting to make sure your paper is pushed up all the way in. And then we're going to score it on this side line here. Okay, so we have this score line, this score line, which are probably hard to see on the camera. I'm going to go ahead and slide this to where the pointer is and punch. Oops. And then we're going to move this line again back to this triangle side line. I say triangle because I'm seeing the words triangle inside. So the triangle side line, and then we're going to score along the small side line. I'm also going to try to transfer that horizontal line. Okay, so this is the last score line we did. We're going to move that to the punch line and punch. And then shift it to the side line, the triangle side line, and then score on this side. Okay, and then this we're going to move to the punch line. And punch and then we're done okay so you're gonna kind of see we've got front side back side and this is gonna be our little tab that's gonna adhere the box together so we can go ahead and put the punch board away and I'm gonna do one thing here first I'm going to cut this flap off here and kind of cut this at a little bit of an angle And then I'm going to bring in the Stampin' Trimmer because we're going to shorten these just slightly. Cut that to the three and a half, where this is lined up to the three and a half inch mark. I think that should be enough because those flaps will be too long for the, the gift bag to close. All right, now we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish on all of our score lines. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and put glue on this tab here. And I'm just going to use the liquid multi-purpose glue. A little goes a long way. And then I'm going to go ahead and just fold this over. And because there's an equal number of sides, this should meet up. There we go. So because this is where the last side to be adhered, this is going to be considered the back. OK, so this side is the back. It's going to put in the two side flaps. I'm going to put a little bit of glue just a little bit on this back flap just to get those to adhere and then I'm going to put glue all along this side this is going to be our front flap and just hold that in place and it helps too if you flip it over and take your multi-purpose glue and press it down for it to adhere 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pinch these sides in to meet the front to the back. And you're starting to see our little gift bag form. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, this next step is not necessarily the intended use of the gift bag because we are gonna be punching through one, two, three, four layers of paper. So it's gonna take a lot of muscle to do this, but there is a reverse punch here that punches two holes for in the gift bag and it'll be perfect for us to tie a little bow. So you just wanna be gentle, make sure all that pa paper is pinched together and try to center that here on the punch and then you will have to put some muscle into this to get it to punch. There we go. Now you guys will laugh at me. This is not the intended use of the punch board, but I was making a whole bunch of these for Christmas a couple years ago, and I actually put the punch board on the floor and used my foot to punch through all those layers. It worked like a charm, and my punch board still works, but again, I'm gonna say, do that at your own risk. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our chocolate in, and that this holds perfectly two Dove Promise chocolates, and I just kind of put them front to back that way, and that fits perfectly in the box. And when you pinch it together, they're in there nice and snug. So I'm gonna use a strip, about a seven inch strip of the Berry Burst finely woven ribbon, and we're gonna feed that through the front and through the back. And then we're just gonna tie that in a knot. All right, there we go. We're gonna trim the ends. Super cute. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of stamping and get out some Whisper White cardstock. And I'm gonna use the new Woodward's stamp set and we're gonna use the star and the thank you. And I'm first gonna do the star. And I'm actually going to, all right, so this is Sweet Sugar Plum. I'm gonna stamp it off once. So I just have a scrap piece of paper here. So I'm gonna stamp it off once because I want it to be a very faint color. Okay, there we go. I thought the Sweet Sugar Plum matched pretty well with this ombre on the Color Theory Designer Series paper. And then next in Berry Burst, um, at full force, we're gonna stamp Thank You. Okay. And then I'm gonna use our one and a quarter inch circle punch. Go ahead and punch that sentiment out. And then we'll use the one and three eighths inch circle punch with Berry Burst. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these two circles together. We're gonna pop that on there with a dimensional. All right, and the final touch is gonna to be one of the glitter enamel dots. We'll pick up this one here. This is a berry burst. We're gonna stick that right there on the side of the star. Super cute. There's the little mini gift bag that holds two Dove Promise chocolates. Now this one's slightly different. I used powder pink as the star for the star ink. And then this one has the sweet sugar plum. And I actually think I like the sweet sugar plum better because it matches. And this ombre, I picked it, I did a different side with the other one but it's such, such a cute project. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to visit my blog, thepaperpixie.com. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I really appreciate you watching today's video tutorial. Thanks and have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.